Hey everybody, May Talibert here. We're now on day 65. And what we're going to talk about in this video, we're going to talk about working jobs, getting jobs, having jobs while you're on your entrepreneurial journey. And we're going to talk about, you know, education in general for a minute, just kind of give you all my take on this. And we're not going to spend a lot of time here. And so in my opinion, the probably the biggest mistake I see people making in this space is that they say, I'm going to be an internet marketer or I'm going to be an online line marketer and I just quit my job. And it's the hugest mistake that a person can ever make. And I always say, do not quit your job until you've replaced your income. So if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to sell online, if you want to be, sell on the internet or anything that you want to do within reason, go ahead and do that. But do it as a side hustle until you replace your income, and then maybe you can quit your job. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, a lot of people need to completely change the outlook on this and say, I'm not going to have one job. I'm going to have one job just to pay all of my bills, and I'm going to have another job to, to pay for marketing and advertising. So basically, the real mindset here is you build something that you're going to scale once you've got it built, you go out and you're working two jobs, one to pay all of your bills and one to actually scale ads or get, get the thing off the ground. And that's like a much more healthy mindset than I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to be destitute and I'm not going to have the money to pay the light bill, but I'm going to try and figure this out without any of that. And I can tell you that's not the deal. It's not the likelihood of that working is very, very low. As a matter of fact, much lower because because you need to pay for internet to have internet if you're going to be in internet marketing or online marketing. You have to have the money to 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 operate, to function, to eat, pay bills, and all of that. And it's not likely you're just going to quit your job and mysteriously start making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And a lot of people think that, unfortunately. There are people that would show up in my group and Kim or Luna's group. I even see it a lot now in the Kajabi group where they basically have decided they're going to sell a $4,000 offer and their plans to be making $200,000 a month in 90 days. And they've never sold anything ever. They've never got, never done that, right? They've never sold anything to anyone. They've never built anything. They've never tested and failed in anything yet they think they're going to immediately be making a lot of money. And the answer to the, the likelihood of that is very, very, very low. And so my advice to you, who if you're watching and you're wanting to build something, my advice is build it while you're working. Figure out a way to build it while you're working. And if you have to change jobs because you need different work to work different hours, that's fine. But you, you, you've essentially got to figure it out while you're working a job and don't quit the job until you've figured out a way to work without having the job. So you've got a money, you, basically until you've got enough money coming in from the side hustle to replace some, if not all of your income, in my opinion, you should be replacing all of it. And so the next thing we're going to talk about, and I think it's another big issue in our space is all of the talk about formal education versus entrepreneurship and i'm all for entrepreneurship 100 percent. i think it's just the greatest thing in the world but it's not for everyone as a matter of fact it's only for like five percent of the marketplace everyone else is working jobs and so to, to think that you know everyone can do this the bottom line is they can't and so you see a lot of people out there saying that college is a scam you waste all of your money uh, you're going to school for four years to learn something that you're not going to necessarily use. And I'm telling you, I am not in that camp. And what's interesting is most of the people saying that, or a lot of the people saying that at the very least, a lot of them are broke. They haven't scaled anything yet. They haven't got anything to work yet. And you know what they're doing? They're living with someone or married to someone who's paying the bills while they don't succeed and they're giving advice on whether someone should go to school. What, and what's interesting, a lot of those, a lot of people they're married to have those degrees, and those people are the ones supporting us while we do this thing. And so, I think that's, and like I said, I just think it's bad advice. And my answer to this is very simple. 
I don't care whether a person goes to college or not, but if you can't kill your own food, if you can't get in front of someone and have a compelling conversation and cause them to want to give you money, you're, you're probably not going to make it and you continue to go to school. And the, this is the other thing. It, a degree is extremely valuable because you know what? If you try to succeed in entrepreneurship and you fail and you've got one of those degree things, the landing is going to be much softer if you than if you don't have one of those. And so that's another reason, in my opinion, people should get those. Now, this is the thing. If you're fresh out of high school and you're you feel like that you can sell and you've got all kinds of ideas and a lot and people are you're charismatic and people listen to you, you can certainly go for it and see what happens and take a year figure out if this is going to work for you. And if it's not, you can either you know, work a job or you can go back, go, go to school. But like I said, I, I think that saying that you should do one or the other, you know, that's beyond my pay grade. I, I you know, I can't tell anyone what, what's best for them. But you got a lot of people out there who basically say 100% college is a scam. And it's not, as a matter of fact, it's kind of, a, it's kind of rather important because, People like us are going to hire people with those degrees. And the other thing is you can't, you know, if we don't have people going to college, we're not going to have any doctors. We're not going to have any lawyers. We're not going to have any dentists. We're not going to have any brain surgeons. And those people are extremely important in society. And so I, I just think it's a mistake. And like I said, my take on all of this is that uh, you should, everyone has to make the decision for themselves. But in my opinion, you know, if it's a 50-50 flip, I would probably tell people to go to school, you know, unless because that's just not a, that's not good enough odds. I mean, if you really have something on the ball, though, if your family's entrepreneurial, if you got got a real if you got really sound ideas and you're willing to get put yourself out there and fail a lot really, really fast, then that makes sense. But other, otherwise, I, I would I would go to school. But we're going to end out of this and I will see you all on the next video. And thanks a lot.